Oh gosh, it is just, the rain is intense. Hi, welcome to Jolie Flips Vintage. I am Sam and this is Adam. Hey, and it is Christmas Eve and we are at our favorite antique mall in Cooper City, Florida called Cooper City Antique Mall and Vintage Marketplace. And they are open today only from 12 to three. So let's go in there and see if we can catch any deals. The smell of Christmas the minute you walk in. I love it here. Definitely come check this place out. Look at this platter right off the bat. That is beautiful. What should I want for that? $25 toll tray. Interesting. I might consider that. See a little paperweight hiding back here. He loved the cranberry and the little swirlies, and it's only $39. DW signed. We might get this one. There is a whole section of paperweights that I will show you. I am on the lookout for perfume bottles. My buyers on Whatnot do ask for perfume bottles quite a bit. Um, so we will see if we can catch any deals on those. This is a ramekin or a custard cup. And they usually come with saucers. And I do have a nice set, a very beautiful set of those at home that are not marked. Were these marked? No, mine's just like that on the bottom. Okay. All right, Adam, we are on the lookout for, for perfume bottles. I can't talk today. Here's one right here for 25 DW bottle. It's more of like a vanity bottle. All right, pretty. That is really cute. A bisque porcelain, $20 for this vintage trinket box. Adorable. I am trying to stay away from porcelain because I do have quite an abundance of those pieces. So uh, let me just show you how organized. First of all, let's just take it all in. You guys, this antique mall is fabulous. Plenty of place places to just kind of look all these little nooks um have little treasures everywhere and then plenty of space to walk and of course my favorite booth is there and we shall go there in just a moment did i miss anything back there i did see a couple of vases that were cool here adam is always looking for comic books and things of that sort love this little vase nice art glass has a favril look. Is that how you say favril? And then that iridescence is called favril. 55. This is signed and dated. Oh, it sure is. I don't know what it says. Really beautiful. And nothing off on this booth. Now I do. Oh, yes, actually. Take 30% off of red X tagged items. These are not uh, red X tagged, but. This is a cool booth as well, though. Let me see what else they have. Oh, look at that. Super adorable. What is that? Bowling pin? It says, I, um, it says bowling pin lighter as found scorch torch. A little Minnie Mouse is adorable. Okay, let's see, there's some perfume bottles back there. $34.33. So 30% off red X tagged. I don't know if that means like the red writing, because there's red writing. Maybe it has to have an X on it. So. I do have that luster dish back there. Very pretty. All right. I love these exceptional perfume bottles. Look at these. They've been here for a while. They are gorgeous. I don't even know the prices. I'm scared to find out. <laughs> All right, let's see if I can find those paperweights. Let's see, oh, there's some cute, um, oops. Let me see if I can get through here without knocking anything over. <laughs> Look at that. Do you want 185 for the pair? So it's this one. 
on that one, that carpet embroidery. These are real cool too. These look a little more modern though. Maybe not, I don't know. $25 for the pair. Super cool angle oil painting. Whoa, get the heck out of there. How did I miss that headboard back there? Look at that wood finish. Gorgeous. Angle is the artist. This perfume bottle is here. This one is pretty awesome. Wow, really love that topper. 38 dresser bottle, glass and metal. There's a big old chip on the side. I did find some pairs of gloves like this. These are five dollars each. I found some at the thrift store not too long ago. Wow, look at this. Whoa. This is gorgeous. It says 24 karat bowl, pink and precious design Italy by Micah, 550. That's a stunning bowl. Absolutely stunning. Yeah, look at that classic Italian um, paint design. I feel bad putting these in there, but they were in there. So <laughs> well, we'll just do what, what we see. Oh, wow. Look at these Florentine salt and pepper shakers. I have never seen them, but those of you who know me know that I am so obsessed with Florentine boxes and trays. And all the, these are in pretty rough shape, um, but they're pretty old. Look at that. $35 on it. <sighs> See if there's any off, but um, definitely very old. $35 is not that bad for those. But um, I'm looking here. They have 20% off of furniture and Christmas items. So probably not on those though but I, it was in really rough shape the salt shaker so let's leave that here are those insulators i'm just now learning about insulators and what they are like they cover the wires where the electric current can go on <laughs> like electric posts i don't know but i guess they're multi-purpose you can use them these are clear hemingway ones um, I do find them when I'm at thrift stores, and I'll pick them up. They can be used as votive candle holders and all sorts of things. So those are cool. I like the colored ones, more like electric blue or green. All right. These little shot glasses, speaking of electric blue, those are pretty. It says eagle star. There's an eagle. There's a star. Okay. I love the vintage bottle thing, and these bottles are really well priced let's see hmm. oh, boric acid boric acid that is used a lot for uh different types of things like that is rat poison but not to be gross but there's some female medical conditions that it can treat uh, would have to check with your doctor before you do any of that though don't take my advice on it um oh, i've always seen these thrifting also these are vintage crackle glass um, fruit with the metal top how much do they want for these i'm just curious see when you see things thrifting and then you go to an antique mall you can learn about somewhat about um pricing you know like hmm, this is what i could probably price it at and you start noticing a pattern so then you know um you know, what you can price things at. 20% off all red dot Christmas items. Okay, I don't see any Christmas items. Aha, I see uranium. And it's a set Vaseline dessert bowls. $30 for the set. Love this opaline ruffle, $30. Okay, here's some paperweights. These look all Chinese. They don't look signed. This might be a oh wait, small paperweight. Yeah, these uh, they look Chinese, so I'm going to leave those alone. I do like this booth, though. Some of the more... Oh, the prices are really good. That's a very large platter. It says a Murano platter for $42. That is an excellent deal. I want to ship that though. $60 for that one. That's gorgeous. 
It's kind of like a bohemian look. All right. These hen and nests are very common, especially the one, the little ones with the red top. And these are hazel atlas ones for eighteen dollars each. So that should give you an idea of what to price something as when you find them at the thrift stores. I believe it's right here, isn't it? Adam? This is my favorite booth. This is my favorite booth. Definitely. The seller has cool stuff. She's even got candy canes. I'm probably going to have one. Here we go. Uh, you're allowed to taste? Yeah. No, okay. <laughs> I do like, there's a Fenton. Yeah. Oh, I have tons of those white Fenton hats. Adam's like, there's a Fenton hat. Yeah. <laughs> I'll probably leave her candy cane. I did like this cloisonne vase. I love the black. That is pretty gorgeous. And they want $19 for it. So I'll definitely pick that up. Um, let's see. There's some other stuff here that is really beautiful vase. New find. She wants $37 for it. There's the Imperial Glass logo right in there. There's a crack in it. Oh, there's a crack in it. Oh, well, let's leave that. That's too bad. That's a nice base, and it is on very unsteady surface. <laughs> um, Fostoria American pattern. This like puffed out checkered vase, um, base design. There is a old Mayolica bowl. I think that was there last time as well. Cute little opaline, blue opaline toothpick holder. Let's see how much they want for that. Oh, it's gorgeous. $19 for it. Not bad, not bad. Believe really that I do have a lot of toothpick holders. Love this Colossine thing here. Let's go keep going. Very pretty um, Asian turquoise set. They want 18 for that ornament. I like that. Shop in New York City. It's beautiful. But we are almost past Christmas, so we'll leave that. But that is really neat. Um, it's like a jack in the pulpit. Okay, we'll keep going. Adam is somewhere. We might have lost him. Oh, she had a bunch of stuff on the wall here. It's taken down now. I love looking inside her glass cases. Let's see. Anything new? Sterling silver just for fun. Hmm. Sterling Silver Minis. Um, okay. Snow Babies for Days. Okay, here's a really cool ice Poly Capitamonte. Look at that, Adam. So Italian. I just love how exaggerated it is, you know? Yeah, I mean, it's very, and look, the flowers are so intact. It is so hard to find th that kind of thing with the flowers intact. That's amazing. I, I don't want to buy it. I'm just curious. I'm just, yeah, you can hold this for a second. I will check to see. I'm just, yeah, it's a class and A. I just want to make sure. $85 JMW decorative console piece. That is really intact. I don't see any chipped flowers even on the sides cool we always like this little corner here because they have like the smallest boot section but plenty and plenty of kitchen treasures those little um owls are still there their googly eyes are really great like it's just that this one has a chipped nose but there's like a whole set of it i was just showing at them also okay let's take our little vase and we'll keep moving this is cool. What is this pink little box here? So Barbie core. Dewberry body powder. Richard Hudnot. It's very Art Deco, right? Let's open that up. But there's no price.
price on it. And I know they're really picky about that here. Okay. There's a lot of paperweights here. Just looking for signed ones. I don't buy the egg-shaped ones. I find that they don't sell it as well. GMW paperweight. 39. Oh, this one's pretty with the butterflies. Dynasty paperweight. Yeah, they make very nice stuff. Um, Sunflower heirloom collection. Beautiful. I really, really like that Bengal uh, tiger. <laughs> He's like $35. I think I see $34.95. He's neat, but I don't know that I could resell him if he's already 35, so. Oh, by the way, by the restrooms, there is an area that has 60% off of items. And is that a big jack in the pulpit? Probably not a high value one, but 60 off of $29. Why? Maybe it's not, it's just not a famous artist. That's good. We will get that. And then, and our Colossin A. Um, I don't know. Probably it's just not a famous artist. Okay. Shoes. I don't see anything up there. I don't even get, I don't even look at luster wear anymore. It would have to be a piece that I know is worth something, like worth a lot. So. Oh my god, I love these ornaments. <laughs> I wonder how much they are. They're like clown ornaments. Let me get to the back of them and see. They're six dollars each. I'm gonna have to get them. Now let's get these. Oh, okay, so we're definitely gonna get those. Adam is taking them to the front. Um, they are so catch. I love them. Here's another one. It's a Fenton Jack in the pulpit. Wow, it's hand blown. I do love Jack in the pulpits quite a bit. I I fight the urge. <laughs> like I've always want to keep them, you know. But you can't keep everything you you thrift or antique. I like. Oh my gosh, like this. Oh, I freaked out just now because it's super Art Nouveau. That is gorgeous. Well, it's not really Art Nouveau, it's really Hawaii, but that is nice, but there's no price on it. Oh my god, he's so cute! Mm. Oh, look at those back there. <laughs> These wooden pieces. Let's follow Adam, he seems to know what he's doing. Oh, there's a lot of little nooks and crannies here. See that vase back there? The ruffle top? I found one similar with that pattern. Oh, that's a pitcher, but I found a vase, but not with the... Ruffle top, just that, that glass. Um, brooches, vases. Oop, thought that was a Potosi for a second there. <laughs> Rimini blue. Here's another Colossine that I'm interested in. Well, let's see how much is that anyway. $70. It's a very old one. These are really cute. They are $895 for the birds. Well, as they should. Oh, is it signed? Oil on canvas oozes peace and quiet. <laughs> Use black frame, brush with linseed oil about twice yearly to preserve the colors. Original $100? I don't know. That's beautiful. Oh, it is signed. It is signed. It's nice. Oh, this is super kitschy too. What in the world is going on here? What are these? Oh, mar marionettas. Uh oh, cool. Eighteen dollars sales. Wow. Look at that one with the flowers on them. So different. Painted. 18. 
a little creepy. Adam, look at these. These were marionettas, like Italian puppets. Aren't they super cool and kitsch? Can I add that to a kitsch sale? Oh, gosh. I feel like I really like them because I'm Italian. I was thinking we can bring them to an Italian sale, right? You want to hold them? You can just hold them by the ends. Yeah, I'm going to get them. They're on sale for 18. Maybe there's even more off. Super cute. All right, let's keep on going. They're so cool. Look at her. She's Her face is painted. At first I thought maybe she's creepy, but they're really not. They're like doll heads. <laughs> Vintage Viking. This is the Spring Blossom one. Let's see how much they want. $45 for that cabbage bottom. Really cool. And that's a really good price for that. I'm always looking for the satin blue ones. Those are going to be of higher value as well as the lavender. Um, this is really cool. This spot reminds me of Laura Caldwell, who is just my favorite YouTuber. She would really like this section, I think. There's a lot of brutalist pieces that are original. Also, I think my father-in-law would really like this because he really likes all those old keys, uh, ancient keys. Um, and I'm always tempted to buy something here. Wow, this person has a lot, like a huge collection. Oh, lots of kitschy stuff here. Why am I into kitsch all of a sudden? I'm really getting into the kitsch. Oh, here's one of the necklaces. It's a fairy. Very painted in a shell pendant. Oh, it's cool. Okay, y'all know how much I love wood inlay. Look at this. Are you kidding me? Wow. I, I'm not even going to look at the price because I, I don't need it. That's amazing. These people have really cool resin art uh, pieces, which reminds me of a girl we just met. Um, Jennifer Hemstreet underscore art. Follow her on Instagram. She was at a vintage market with us yesterday at the Trashy Vintage Anniversary uh, Market and uh, that Heidi, the owner of Trashy Vintage at Lake Worth, was so kind enough to invite us for free to set up and sell items and also just kind of bask in the beauty of vintage and, uh, you know, hang out with people like-minded. Um, similar passions as we have. But anyway, long story short, I met a girl with all these beautiful resin pieces. And her name was Jennifer. And she was there with her, uh, I think it was her significant other. Forgive me if it wasn't. But if he wasn't, but I think his name was Nick. And he was really sweet. And um, yeah, anyway, but yeah, so she has a lot of really cool resin pieces. So you want to check her out. Hey, remember this? Remember when we found this? When we were thirsting? <laughs> They want $18 for it. See, this person is very honest because some places online priced it for $500, but it's probably India brass. So $18 is a fair price for that purse. $19 for the Pyrex. Okay, let's see. Really cool stuff. A horse. Horses. Little Amber and a Scotty dog. How much does he want for that? 24. Not bad. I think this is a walled lucite. I think it's hand wood carved. No, it doesn't actually say. So a lot of times it'll say walled, like the artist. This has been here forever. I feel like I should rescue it. $16. I will rescue it this time. Um, <laughs> he's been here forever. And every time I come here, I say I'm going to rescue it. Well, I did today. He's cute. I'll just do another owl show. $9 for this cat. Um, just looking for other things. Carnival glass bookend. Very neato. 
Severin Canada? Let's see, probably not. It's a cute little pottery. <laughs> Seven dollars. We'll get him too. He's cute. Yeah, that little owl is so cute in that lucite. He's just trapped in there forever. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, that's how they make it. But definitely, he'll take. We'll take him home. At least he'll be trapped. In another, he'll be contained in your home forever as well. Yeah, contained. Contained. <laughs> oh, look at this. This is for Spectacular. Spectacular, you guys. Check him out on yeah. YouTube. I have met this person through uh, whatnot. Loves buying uranium from me. But he knows a lot about coins. And he's got like 70K plus. 70K plus subscribers on YouTube. So definitely check him out. Spectacular. I just put it down here on the screen for you to follow good good person his stuff is so good too like the coins and all of the the episodes and all that is there anything else we want here what about that little bottle all right oh those are so cute it's just kind of modern this is called <laughs> to me i call it the linen booth i mean lots of really cool quilts here and you know those are very popular um, quilts right now and everybody's going crazy for the quilts and I'm just looking to see if there's anything a little different oh my god I love these little owls let me see <laughs> five dollars each but they're resin and they're kind of cute <laughs> don't know that I want to spend 15 on all three of them not bad not bad though a uh, little space here that they usually have little things here that I love little trinkets $14 for the enamel chicken box Christmas it's a cool little box here really nice oh it's um Brighton thought it was not bad though four dollars for it it's just a little container for some buttons little coin purse how adorable Five dollars for that. Cute. Not not vintage though. Is this Calvin Chen? I don't think so. No. Doesn't say it. This one's really intricate right here. That's ceramic. Twenty-two dollars for it. Cute. Check out this. <laughs> Oh, look at that, so old. I wonder who this guy is. Nikola Tesla. It's not Nikola Tesla. <laughs> you know, very distinguished look. Yeah, he's very. Look at this. <laughs> yeah, this is right up your alley over here. Kind of. I, I do stay away from Claire's. I would appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, this is a beautiful doll. Oh, I was going to get these dolls. <laughs> They're adorable. I wonder if there's more off on that because it says sale on it, but then I don't know if that's okay. $18? Yeah. yeah. These two are. I think they're $18. They're on sale for $18. Yeah. Oh, oh, they, oh, that's what I, yeah, I think misunderstood. You had more on cool. Thank you so much. Yeah. And I have 20% discount on my shop for Christmas. So Where is it? It's right there. I have to I'm coming to it. <laughs> Very cool. I, I, so sweet we just met one of the booth owners actually she has two booths here so she's real neat um adam said this is right up my alley but i i don't i i try to stay away from clear clear vases yeah, yeah. i thought about it after i said it no it's okay it swung but it wasn't swung enough either swung. no the more swung the more so i like it very swung and also colored she doesn't like, she doesn't like <laughs> Mm-hmm. Like Twenty percent like off of everything. Swung, then she doesn't want it. Right. Twenty percent off of everything. Swung. This is nice for twenty percent off of everything for twenty five. It's a Bristol vase. Those are those ten gel ten Van Telligan. These are the ducks, yes. I stay away from Van Telligan. I do not like them. I don't like them. They creep me out. I know they're kind of popular, but I do not go there. All right, let's see what else is in this booth because this booth is fabulous. Silver overlay, very cool. Look at these 
beautiful Fenton opal spiral art glass vases and cranberry. That's what it says. And I'm just repeating that. Oh, look at those peppers, Adam. <laughs> so cool. Oh, that owl. I bet you he's ceramic. Yeah. Ceramic. Oh, uranium. More uranium for Speg. <laughs> I found one of these similar ones at World Thrift the other day. I got so excited. Then when I looked behind it, it was broken. They want thirty ninety nine. Is there anything off on this booth, Adam? Is this it? Ten percent off under twenty. Twenty two percent off. Twenty to forty nine ninety nine. Wait, let me 33 see. Thirty three percent off mm -hmm. over fifty. Okay, so it is twenty two percent off of thirty. Mm -hmm. A little bit of chips on the it's rim. Like seven bucks almost. Okay, so $7. There's a little chip on the rim. Seven off at 30, so we're looking at around like 20, 20, 20 something dollars. I can't do math. All right. You think, how did she make it this far as a nurse? And she can't do math. Oh my God, Adam, look at this turtle box. Oh, that's probably a uh, Haiti carved. Haiti. <laughs> I love him. That carved wood is like uh, from Haiti, most likely. And look at this one pair of wolf. $9.99. It says pair of wolf. Wow, I'm really digging the shape of this bottle, Adam. Is there anything off here? Yeah. Well, it says take 30% off a red tag. It's look at this bottle. TV trays with stand. Cool. So from the 60s, 50s. Uh, look at this bottle, the shape of it. It says Orifor, blown crystal cordial decanter with stopper. It's really neat. You gonna buy that? Yeah. You need it? Oh my goodness, Adam, look at this napkin holder. <laughs> that is really cool. <laughs> that is the coolest napkin holder I've ever seen. I just took, I just off the camera for a second and took a picture of it so that I can post it on Instagram. I was like, look at this, you guys come and pick that up. <laughs> this is hand blown mini perfume bottle. Oh, it's Israeli glass, kind of like that ribbon. Uh, is it broken? It sure is. No wonder it's a five dollars. Oh. All right, here we go. Look at the Nick Carter horses. That blonde hair. <laughs> yeah, look at the. Yeah, look yeah. at the Nick Carter. I see it. <laughs> or um, I don't know. Justin Timberlake didn't have flowy hair. He's like, bye bye bye. <laughs> uh, whatever happened to them? Uh, they they might be reuniting. Oh good. Oh look at that beautiful intact Pyrex bowl. Yeah, they came together to do a movie for uh, to do a song for this uh, Trolls movie that came out. Recently. Troll? Oh the Troll, yeah. yeah. And then they made an appearance at the MTV uh, video musical ones. And now everybody's kind of hoping they, they record some new material besides the one song. Like a new album. Oh. Nice. Yeah. And why not? And why not? Why not? Why not? Oh my gosh look at this one. Opaline oh, vase. Uh, this is up Sam's alley. Well, how much is that? 68, as they should. 20% off of it. What's that? 20% off of 68. You know what I would like to buy myself for Christmas? If you see a bittersweet, like the largest bittersweet. <laughs> I will buy it for myself. The largest one. This is really gorgeous. This person has really great glass. $60, look at that. So Art Deco. Isn't this like one amazing? I love this booth. You see, I have that in green that I just found at the thrift store, remember? Um, these are Lucite candle holders. Very cool. An electric menorah. Yeah, because the candles will be Oh yeah, oh yeah, these are cool. These are so mid-century. I love them. Really? And where is it now? It'd be worth something. <laughs> Look at this, you guys. So beautifully intact. Ah, there's those Van Telligan again. 
these I wouldn't bother buying them at antique malls personally because I have many of them that I actually use. I find them uh, at the antique malls all the time, Pyrex or I think Glass Bake. And they're perfect for like making tiramisu or any type of cold desserts, like a dulce de leche or something. They keep it so good. It's so good. This is a Fenton Burmese powder box butterfly. Now I'm also shopping for something for myself. If you guys are wondering, I want to treat myself for Christmas. Right, Adam? I want to treat myself for Christmas. I yeah. deserve it. I work so hard. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> Nobody works harder than Samantha. Oh, uh, that's probably not true. <laughs> we all work hard. He's just joking. He's just partial because he loves me. Right? He's like, staying for it. Thank you. Thank you, Sodi. This is the dealer that was t just we were just talking about. She said, "Yeah, she was nice." She said, "Find the, find the fountain." Oh, she's so cottage core. Man, look at that! It's hand painted. Limoncello shell. Oh my gosh! Oh, I see it. It's Italian, and it is an actual shell, is it not, Adam? And we could put that on our um, Italian show, Limoncello, 15 bucks. I don't think there's any off on that, but I will definitely pay $15 for that. Cool. Yes, we could put, thank you for holding that. We'll definitely put that in our show. All right. Oh, I'm so excited about that. I like, I noticed that it had like an Italian flair to it. So cool. We'll see. She made a, a very good impact uh, on us because we ended up buying it. Something from her booth. She was just so sweet. Look at that. That could be like a Barbie couch or something. So look at the Adam, my fat bird obsession. <laughs> Do I get it? The colors are a little too uh, bright, right, for my taste. Yeah. Yeah. There's a beautiful Reuben there. You guys, if you're not familiar with Reuven, I wonder if it has a sticker on it. No. $24 is gorgeous. It's Israeli glass. Very Art Nouveau. So you can decorate your house like that. Um, any cute things up here? Last minute things we can buy. You don't mind being on the... No. She's wonderful, you guys. Please check her booth out. This is definitely, this is what I call the dude area. <laughs> Lots of yeah. stuff for guys right here. Um, for everybody but yeah Adam likes to tinker in this area and then I just wanted to see okay perfume bottles Thank you guys so much for watching this video and supporting us and shopping with us. If there's anything that we purchased that you would like to purchase, please let us know at jollyflips at AOL.com.